Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of 60 Mick Formula. Hope you're doing well today. Hey girl, can I get a high five? Oh right! Dang man, that was cool dog. Thanks for giving me the high five, brother. I mean sister, I mean, I mean sister. Look at Britney Spears in the background. He's got a G.I. Joe vest on. He's like, ooh, look at me, brother. I'm styling today. I'm getting all tactical with it. Aren't you, buddy? It's a good boy. Yeah, it's a good boy. In today's episode, we're gonna be talking about what it takes to have a service dog. Are Siberian Huskies the right dog to be a service dog? Can Siberian Huskies be service dogs? If you have a floofy Siberian Huskaroni pizza at home and you're thinking, hey, I really want a service dog. Is it possible? We got the answer to that and more in today's episode. So come with us, will you, on another episode of 60 Formula where we find out if Siberian Huskies can become service dogs. Are you ready, Freddy? Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go. Okie dokie pokey, so what does it take for a dog to become a service animal? A lot of people are getting pups and they're like, you know, I'd really like to skip all those lines at Disney World. I'd really like to be able to take my dog on an airplane for free. So what can I do to get my dog to be certified as a service pup? It's gonna take a whole lot more than just a tactical vest and a pretty little smile. But to answer your question straight out of the gate, yes, Siberian Huskies can be service dogs. In fact, any breed of dog can be a service dog. So it doesn't matter if you have a Chihuahua, if you have a Siberian Husky, or if you have a little itty bitty bulldog. However, the thing is, is it's gonna take a whole lot of practice, a whole lot of training, a whole lot of patience, and a whole lot of time to get your Siberian Husky to be a service dog. You see, becoming a service dog takes a whole lot of training because you're required to take a test to see if your dog is able to maintain their cool in all sorts of different situations. If they're gonna be walking all about and hanging out with all sorts of people in pubs, they're gonna have to pass a test where they're not distracted by a single thing. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do if you want your dog to become a service pup is you're gonna have to start training and training very young. You're gonna have to try and get your dog to not respond to reactions, like for instance, dropping this cookie. Good job. We show you this because it's a good place to start when you wanna train your dog to avoid distractions. You're gonna want your dog to avoid people, babies, all sorts of noises and distractions, and they also can't be afraid of things either. Like if you need to get on an elevator or an escalator or an airplane, they're gonna be able to have to handle that kind of stuff. You can't have a screaming service dog. So it's all about practice and patience. It's all about teaching your dog how to behave, how to be calm in those stressful, tense situations. So maybe you're beyond that. Maybe you've trained your dog to perfection and you're like, hey dude, I think my pepperoni pizza is ready for that test. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna sign up for the service dog public access test. And what that is, is a test that lets you know if your dog is ready to be a service pup or not. Once they're certified, you'll get your certificate and your dog will be ready to be your service dog and accompany you or help you with any emergency you might have out in public. That and they get to look all sorts of cool with a nice little service vest on. Today's episode is sponsored by Rabbit Goo, the leader in tactical vests and service vests for dogs. If you're looking to get your dogs to become service dogs, then Rabbit Goo has the best service dog vest for you. Isn't that right, buddy? He's like, I love the Rabbit Goo service dog vest, daddy. Rabbit Goo ships your service dog vest straight to your door so that you don't have to worry about going out and shopping for one. It comes immediately to you ASAP. All you have to do is take it out of this little plastic bag and your dogs are gonna be super duper excited to see what you have in store. Now you may be like, why does quality matter when it comes to a service dog vest? Quality matters most because most dog vests, they'll cheap out and they won't go the route of giving you quality steel clamps so that the vest never wears down, cooling and insulated fabric so that your dog stays cool on those hot days when they're wearing the vest. Rabbit Goo Tactical 
Eagle vests come with so many different places and options to place whatever you would like on your Siberian Husky. It's really important when you have a service dog to make sure that you put the proper warnings and precautions on your service dog vest. So this gives you plenty of room, plenty of options to customize how you want your service dog vest to look. Not only is the Rabbit Goo Tactical Vest very comfortable, but it looks stylish as well. Britney Spears looks super duper stylish in it. He's like, oh my good golly goodness, daddy. Can we strap some sandwiches to this bad boy and go out for a walk? The Rabbit Goo Service Dog Vest has so many different places where you can adjust the size. These clamps here are made of steel and you can adjust them right here. There are several different places down here where you can clamp things like keys or maybe dog tags or ravey tags. Here's where you can put something like a name tag. Maybe this is where you put, hey, my name is Mr. Britney Spears. And then right up here on the top, you have a handle, a place for your leash so you can walk your dog. All the rest is just style, baby. Bam, 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 bam. We got an army dog in here. Commander Britney Spears coming in. Hello, Commander Britney Spears. How are you doing today? You only want the very best for your service dog, so do your best friend a favor and get them the very best in service dog gear. Rabbit Goo Tactical Vests. Comfortable, durable, and customizable. We want to thank Rabbit Goo so much for sending out this awesome pet harness. Whenever we turn Britney Spears into a service dog, this is absolutely the vest that we are going to choose. We'll leave all the information down below so that you can prepare to make your dog go with you everywhere. I mean, how cool does that look? I wish you could go out and wear that all the time, Britney Spears. Now, there are a few things that you should know about service dogs. You should never, ever pet a service dog if you ever see one in public. Petting service dogs is a big no-no because it could distract them from the duty that they're doing. So a lot of people like to get patches all over their service dog to be like, yo, hands off, brother. Don't touch my service dog. Letting you know that he's the best in the West. That's what all this Velcro right there is for, so that you can show off your pup in fashion. You ready? Catch it. Good Bowie, that's a good Bowie. Yeah, you such a good Bowie. You such a good Bowie. So the answer is a resounding yes. Siberian Huskies can be service dogs. You just gotta make sure that you train them really well and that they pass that public access test, baby. You look so good in it, Britney Spears. What are you going down the red carpet? You going down that red carpet, brother? If you guys have a service dog at home, let us know in the comments below. What did you have to go through to get a service pup? And do you have a service pup that's a Siberian Husky? We wanna thank you guys so much for checking us out, hanging out with us every single day. We super duper appreciate it. And if you wanna get your hands on one of these rabbit goo tactical vests for your service dog, check out the link below. We got all the information for you down in the description. Hit us up on Instagram or Facebook if you wanna share a picture of your pup, and we'll see you next time with another episode of guess what? Yup, whatever we make. Peace!